Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to beat the Blood Thrall. So the Blood Thrall is right before the Great Thrall. It's this red Thrall over here, so you can see him, he's right here. So we're going to go through on how to kill it. So I'm going to explain the mechanics first, and then I'm going to show you it in real time. First of all, you're going to see that there are six golems over here. You see there's three over here, and then there's three on the other side. So what you're going to do is you're going to DPS the Blood Thrall normally. I really recommend having a ranged tank who stands over here and have a Force Master cast the bubble around him so that he's immune to uh, to range attacks. And that way it's a lot easier since this Blood Thrall does do a lot of AoE ring attacks around him. So it's very difficult to tank in melee. So I do recommend using a ranged tank. However, if you are a Warden, for example, then you're more than welcome to just tank him normally because you're immune to CC. So the main concept of this boss is you're going to DPS him down to about, I think it's like 90%, and then he's going to cast these yellow tethers onto two of these golems. Once you see these tethers happen, these golems are going to become active and you're immediately going to stun the golems. The golems have two CC bars. You're going to either stun or daze or uh, KD, and then you're going to have a destroyer or a blade dancer. Immediately pick him up and bring him to the blood thrall. When you bring the golem to the blood thrall, the golden beam will break, and then you can DPS them and kill the, kill the golems. So I do recommend having at least two grabs. So either two BDs, two destroyers, or one of each. However, you can use knockbacks as well. It takes a little bit of practice. However, you can immediately after you stun, you knock back once and then you have another guy here and you knock back again. And then you can knock the uh, the golems into the blood thrall. You can do that. However, it's a, it's pretty janky and it's it takes a lot of practice and takes a lot of skill. So I prefer to just use grabs. And it's also possible to just use one destroyer. If you ever tuned into my Asian VT raids, we do it with one destroyer. So the method with one destroyer is, so let's say that these two come to life and they're tethered, right? So you CC this one, you grab him and grab him over, and then you kill one. Then everyone else just huddles around here and waits until his rotation is over. Once his rotation's over, his CC bars will open again. You CC him, you grab him over, and then you kill him. And that's how you do it with one destroyer or one grab. It's relatively simple. It's rinse and repeat. Just make sure that after you kill the two golems, the blood thrall will tether, he'll tether three random people with a red laser. If you are connected with a red laser, you need to get away from the boss. You need to go around this, this distance, around that far, before the tether will break. Just make sure that if you have a red tether on you, you have to break the tether or else you will die. That's really it. It's rinse and repeat three times and then the blood thrall will die. So we're going to play the video. And I'm just going to talk while the video plays. So you can see here that we started, that we've got a range tank, Nopix over here, he's shooting from distance, and then we've, he's got a bubble immediately casted on him, so he's immune to range attacks. And now we just DPS. So you can see we're DPS DPSing, and the moment that we got it 84%, it says the Blood Thrall begins a dark right. So you see that these tethers are casted, these golden tethers to two of these golems. So we need to CC the golem and drag him close to the boss. Keep in mind that we need to be careful about these circles. All of these circles knock up. So if you're a warden, you can just use your blade ward and stand in it. However, if you're everyone else, you need to stay away from these circles or else they will knock you up. So you can see here, we're just attacking, attacking, attacking. And you see we bring the... So you see that our blade dancer over here immediately carries the, the golem close to the boss and it breaks the golden tether. Now we DPS and kill the golems. Once we kill the golems, you'll see that these are these red tethers that connect to random members. And we need to make sure that these members SS away from the boss to break the tether. And you're going to see that. You see that there's three tethers. They're running away. They're going to break it. See, you don't have to run too far. Just there and it'll break. And that's it. So now we can DPS the boss again, and we're just going to wait. Oh, so we can see that one of the golems isn't dead, so we're going to go kill it. And now we just DPS normally. And immediately once he hits about 60%, he's going to cast another, another two tethers over here. So we have to do it again. Again, we CC it, drag him over here, same on the other side, and rinse and repeat. Now we continue that again. 
Just be careful of those circles. Those AoE circle things do hurt a lot. So if you happen to miss the CC bar and the golem CC bar closes, what you have to do if you have aggro is you have to stand close to the boss and wait until his rotation finishes. So you can see here that Glock has aggro on this golem. However, they missed the CC bar, so they're going to wait until the CC bar opens. The only way to do that is to have the tank or whoever has aggro stand next to the golem and tank all his hits. So as a gunner, it's really easy. You just use your deadlock or your X skill and you can tank everything and you wait until his rotation finishes. Once this rotation finishes, there will be another two seconds or two to three seconds where a CC bar opens up again and you can stun him and you can grab him. So you're going to see here, we're waiting for his CC, his rotation to finish. Once he finishes that jumping attack, his CC bars is going to open and then we can grab him again. So you can see there, we grabbed him over and we killed him. Same as the other side. After he does that attack, so you saw that that attack he, where he slammed the person with, with his back. Once that attack finishes, his CC bars will open. We can stun him immediately and voila, we carry him over and we break the golden chain. Once we break the golden laser, then you have to break the red lasers again, and we have to kill the golems. So this will repeat three times because there are six golems, three on each side. We have to make sure that the golems are dead. So you can see here that I type 20 seconds hold. The main reason we do that is I'm telling the raid to hold DPS because if we burst it down to 40%, the, he's going to do the golden tethers again and our grabs are not ready yet. So we have to wait until our destroyer's grab and our blade dancer's grabs are off cooldown before we burst it down to 40% again. So we're waiting, waiting. You see, I typed waiting for grab and we're just waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting and grabs are ready. So I say, okay, let's DPS again. And now we DPS. Ba, 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 ba. So you see at 30% or a little bit less, the golden beams are are attached again and we grab the boss or grab the golems bring them close kill the golems break the red tethers and then finally we just kill the final boss after all the golems are taken play are taken away and are killed there's no more mechanic it's just dps the boss until he dies so it's relatively easy And voila, we killed the boss and now we can move on to the Great Thrall. And that's it for this boss fight. It's relatively simple. If it did help, I'd appreciate a subscribe. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heels